Hey guys, this is Mike with Sentry Security Systems Incorporated. In this week's video, we're going to continue on with the how-to series for the GeoVision VMS platform. This week, I'd like to take a look at adding an IP camera. Now, there's several ways that you can add an IP camera to the VMS software, and we'll try and cover all of them here in this video. Now, the first thing that you want to do when you have your camera plugged in is open up your IP device utility. The IP device utility is going to scan your network for any IP cameras on your network, not just GeoVision cameras. It'll also find other manufactured cameras if they conform to the ONVIF protocol. So we can see here it's found three different devices. The first device is our VMS software platform. The second device is an ONVIF camera. And the third device is a GeoVision camera. Now the first thing that we need to do is ensure that the IP address of the camera falls into a suitable range for our network. To change the IP address, you'll double click on the camera, enter the password, the default username is admin and the default password is also admin. And then once you've done that, you'll enter the IP address that you'd like to change it to in here and click OK. My IP address is already in the proper range for this network, so I've just changed it to the same IP address that it already is. It'll take a moment to change the IP address. When it's done, it will reboot the camera and start the camera back up with the new IP address. Once that's done and we have the camera on the IP address that we want, the next thing that we want to do is check for a firmware update. We do that with this button right here. Okay, and that's going to check for the latest firmware. So in our case, we do have a firmware update available for this camera. So we can see the current version is 2.01 and it's gonna to update to the new version, which is 3.0. So you just wanna click select all. Okay, so if you have 20 cameras, a GeoVision IP device utility will update the firmware on all 20 of them at the same time. Once that's done, you're gonna go ahead and click upgrade enter your password and press OK. Once our firmware update is complete, you'll notice here under firmware version, it's got the new version now. So we've got 3.00. Now, I do recommend that you go ahead and press the firmware update button again so that it can check. Sometimes the firmware updates will require a specific update before it can go to the most recent one. So for example, the most recent one may very well be 3.2, but you can't go from the previous version all the way to 3.2. You have to go to 3.0 first, then 3.2. So because of that, you wanna continuously check the firmware until you get the screen that we see here, no updates available. Now, the next step is actually add the camera. We've got the IP address set, we've got the firmware up to date, we've got the latest version of the VMS software installed. So what we're going to do now is click on the NVR camera settings tab. And what we can do here is select the camera and drag it into the position that we want it in the software. And then click on this little green arrow up here that says export and then press save. So a couple notes about doing it this way. You can, you can do as many cameras here as you need to, so it's a very quick way. It's the fastest way to add a batch of cameras at the same time. If, however, you have an existing system, so you already have 15 IP cameras, you're adding two new ones to it, you can't simply put the two new ones in spots 16 and 17. When you import cameras through this way, you do need the complete list. So if you were to import cam if you were to go and put two cameras in spot 16 and 17, import it into the software, it will erase the first 15 cameras. Okay, so you want to be very careful with that. I recommend you only do it this way on a new installation. So I'm going to go into the VMS software here now. This button right here is the import camera, which is the file that we just created using the IP device utility. So if I select that, I can then pick my NVR file, and that's gonna import those cameras into the software for me as well. 
So you can see there now that camera is connected. So I'm going to clear that out and delete it again. And we're going to click on the toolbar button, configure, and camera install. So this is our camera install screen right here. Okay. And it does include an automatic setup. If there's not currently any cameras on it, you can do the automatic setup. So if we click on that, okay, so you can see there it's found the camera. And we can click apply. And that's going to add the camera for us to the VMS software using the automatic utility. So I can show you the final way of adding it. So we have this plus sign right here. This is to add a camera manually. Sometimes the network, for whatever reason, won't allow you to find the camera. It won't scan for it automatically. Using this method, you can add the camera manually. It does require you to know the IP address of the camera. We'll enter our username and password. And now you can manually select the camera or you can just simply go auto detect. So I've auto detected it. I'm going to click apply. And that's now going to add my camera. We'll just give it a moment here to connect. There we go. So I've clicked the checkbox to activate the camera. It takes it a moment, it connects. And away we go. Now I've got that camera back in my list again. So you can see there's three different ways of doing it. We can import the settings with the IP device utility. We can use the automatic setup or we can manually add the camera. So now that we have that in here, I do just want to show you one last thing. Uh, this is something that we're going to cover more in depth with a future video. Uh, but for this week, um, just to get you guys up and running, I'd like to also show it to you. And that's the biggest thing that you're going to notice is that you cannot see the camera right now. This VMS software does not work in the same way that the NVR software does, where it'll automatically assign that camera to a position. And then it's specific to there. You actually create different layout groups. Um, and again, we'll cover it more in depth in the future. But if we go to the toolbar button and then our content list, so we've got different options here. I'm going to just select the camera option and camera one. So you can see as you scroll over it, really cool thing it does is give you a preview of the image of that camera. So I can take that camera and I can drop it, drag and drop into any position that I want it. And I can also add the camera multiple times. Now you might wonder why you'd ever want to add a camera multiple times. The main reason is with fisheye cameras, they have different modes for fisheyes. So you could add the camera you could have one year 360 mode, one year dual 180 modes, etc. And you can have, uh, have it zoomed in on certain aspects. So you can add it as many times as you want. Thanks for watching this week's video. Next week we'll continue on with our VMS how to series. In the description for this video, I'll have links to adding the, sorry, I'll have links to upgrade the system from the NVR software to the, to the new VMS software in case you missed the video last week. Thank you guys.